building foundational workflow as you're working through our training videos here, um, either live on uh, Facebook or in our learning hub. But we've gone through and created uh, several things now up to this point, including custom field services, uh, child services and rate matrix. And now the next step is we want to go out and actually create an estimate. So I'm going to give you a quick preview of kind of how this all ties together in V3 and then show you how to actually go into the document editor to create the estimate email, the email that fires off the estimate with a clickable link where the client can go in and click and accept the um, services they want, sign electronically. And then a few minutes after that, an automated email goes out and says, hey, we've acknowledged you accepted our estimate, uh, we'll be reaching out to schedule it. So the two main things that we're gonna be going over in this video is a quick overview of the workflow to put it into context where the estimate email and the acceptance email play in. And we'll go in and show you how to build those out. And then the next subsequent video will be going in the um, system is showing you how to build out an estimate document and all the things that go into that, including the dynamic content or estimate grid where the pricing lives. So this video is gonna be a quick overview to just refresh your memory of the workflow of how the estimate email and an estimate acceptance email goes into play. And then we'll show you how to build that out. Next video, we're going to show you how to build out the estimate document and all the goodies inside that as well. So without any further delay, I'm going to pop the screen open here and uh, get after it. So if you haven't seen the new look of Service Autopilot's V3 new user interface where um, this is the new client or lead screen. So this is a lead that we have right now in one of my test accounts. Um, I'm going to go into the little home icon and hit the home button. Now this is going to be the new Smart Maps, it used to be called Maps Pro. And the idea here is we're going to go in and measure this property. Now I've already gone in and measured the property. So it's by default, it's here, but I'm going to go to the upper left hand corner and hit edit just so you can kind of see it in what and you can see exactly what we're driving here. And then I'm going to go in and show you how the estimate emails and acceptance emails play into this um, for this video, just to put this in context. Because I know sometimes it can be a little overwhelming, um, everything all at once. So I'm going to zoom in here on this property. And I'm going to go in and hit area measurement. So I'm going to go in and type this in and call this turf square footage. Now I'm going to do this pretty quickly because there's other videos that cover this, um, but we can add, subtract or exclude. I'm going to add that because I want to know what that is. I'm going to, I'm going to select the color as well here by clicking on this and I'm going to make this green because it's the grass we're cutting. Um, so we've got all that information in there. Now I'm actually going to go into the property and measure that out and I'm not doing it with a whole heck of a lot of detail right now because, um, this is just a demo of the workflow to connect where your estimate email and your acceptance email actually comes into play in the new V3 uh, version three setup of Service Autopilot. So we've got that area there and we've on the right hand side, we've labeled it and we need to go into property data. Uh, we've got an area where we can search. I'm going to scroll down here. You'd probably never have this many custom fields. Um, but I'm going to go in and grab my turf square footage here and hit X. Okay, and then that's going to load and, and save that data right here. Now the ability to add and exclude different things, um, but that's not what this video is about. But now we've saved that trip square footage. So I'm going to save the property. Uh, check out the other videos. You can update property photos and other information on here so the team can see it on the team app. But after I X out of this here, I'm going to go in and actually create an estimate. So I'm going to go over to the estimate uh, area here and uh, this is going to load in here and I'm going to scroll in and grab a template and everything we built out for our custom fields and services and child services kind of build into this. Um, so if you aren't familiar with building out a template with your services, uh, we do have a video in here in the learning hub or in Facebook as well to check that out. But I'm going to go into my leads here and hit apply. So what is happening here is it loads a pre-templated set of services with a pricing matrix or production rate based system behind it. The key right now for the overview of the estimate email and the estimate acceptance email is we have automatically connected a um, document. And inside that estimate document, we've attached the estimate email and the acceptance email. So three to four parts now are all combined, creating time savings and creating an automated and delegatable workflow. So uh, we'll get into how to connect that, but I wanna show you what this kind of looks like for an email going out in an acceptance email, then we'll show you how to build those out. So I'm just gonna hit lawn mowing to quote. I'm gonna add our drive time by clicking the number one in here. 
So all the client's going to see is 3809 for the lawn mowing. So on-site plus mobilization. So I'm going to scroll down here and hit save. And we're obviously going to try to close them over the phone. But if we can't do that, we're going to email out this quote. This is where our templated email is going to come out. So we're going to go in and hit email. And it's going to load a pre-templated email. So I'm going to show you how to build these out in a minute. Um, we'd go in. To and from is already filled out. Email subject line. You can have a logo. And the main thing in here is we've got a clickable quote link that will merge in here. We've got some clickable buttons and our lead letter, the five or six main reasons why our business is different. But the main idea is we have marketing content that's preset, templated, ready to go. You can customize it on the fly, but ideally you just want to set it and forget it. So we're going to go in and hit the send button and that's going to fire off that email. Now I'm going to go over to my um, other screen here and pull up my email and actually open this up so you can actually see what the estimate email looks like. So uh, as we're thinking about this though, there are gonna be three distinct parts to uh, this process. And they're gonna be the estimate email, the estimate document, the acceptance email. Those are the three main parts. And inside the estimate document, we have a thing called dynamic content or uh, pricing grid. And that's where it displays the pricing. So this video is just the two emails. We'll go into the later part um, in a subsequent video. So as I pull this over, this is the actual email. So now I am your future client. So this is the email that we're going to show you how to build out here in a few minutes. But the idea is now your client can go in or future client, click view my proposal. And that pulls up this estimate document where everything is in here and they can click and sign for the service. 3809. There's a playable video in here if you want. We'll go over the details how to build that out in our estimate document uh, videos. And then they can scroll down, accept, sign on the dotted line, print their name in, and hit accept. And within about two to three minutes, there's an additional email that automatically fires out that we're going to go over. And the consumer gets the acceptance saying, hey, we've acknowledged that you've accepted our estimate. So when we go into Service Autopilot to make this happen, we need to go into the gear icon. We need to go into the document editor and add a document. Now, if you need some help or you just simply don't want to do this, uh, contact us at Simple Growth. We have a package with both estimate emails, the estimate documents um, for leads and clients all bundled together in a done-for-you system. Um, and we can get that knocked out in probably about an hour for you. Um, so we, first thing we want to do is select a document type, and it is a client email. And we can name it. So estimate test email, and we can put a description in the subject is the email subject line, your uh, requested estimate, whatever you want to do there. And we're going to hit save. Now, the next thing is this document editor is going to open up. And it's a drag and drop builder. So we're going to go in. You can use one of the uh, templates here if you like. I'm just going to use a blank template and show you how to put this together. So this is the same exact process for the estimate email and the acceptance email. But those are the two different documents that we're going to want to make at this point. So we're going to drag a couple rows in here and go in. And we're going to go and grab some content. So I'm going to go in here and um, make the body of the email. So I can go in here. And I'm going to grab one more row here. And I'm going to make this guy here an image. I'm going to drag my image in here for my logo. And this right here would be my body of the actual estimate. So I'm going to go in here and just copy and paste this right here for time's sake. And drop that in here. Now, obviously, this is not everybody's first name. So I'm going to delete that and go into merge tags and grab client first name and merge that in. Um, and then in addition, I could say click here to view your estimate. And we also want to go back to the merge tags. And this is going to be the estimate link. 
right here. And then we can close it out and put uh, thank you or sincerely, whatever you want. And you can merge in the salesperson name or your name in here based on the merge fields. Um, for time's sake, I'm just going to put Mike in here. And I would recommend if you're using your simple, your company name, you can actually uh, shortcut it by putting the at sign and company name, and that merges it in. But the idea is you want to set this up. The main thing you need is that quote link merged in off the merge tags. And this is a dynamic document now. So we're going to create this document uh, for the estimate email, and then we're going to create another identical uh, one that basically acknowledges, thank you for accepting the estimate. We will be reaching out um, at a later you know, within the next day or two to do that for you. So this is the uh, methodology for an estimate email. And then we want to make another document called the estimate acceptance email. And then the next video, we're going to show you how to create the estimate document, drag all those and connect them together on the estimate documents. We're building foundational because you need these two pieces before you build the estimate document because they're going to be required to link them in. And then we're going to go into the estimate template where we drive all of this and bundle it in. So uh, next video that you're gonna be watching, uh, if you're watching this in order, is going to be creating an estimate document and an estimate grid um, that you'll need there. And then we'll go into an estimate template. So uh, as we're building foundational workflow, of setting up the system, hopefully this is helpful. So we'll see you in the next video on the estimate document.